When my hair gets a bit oily, she gets curly and I'm not mad at it. Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back, welcome back. I don't know if you guys remember a little while ago, I shared with you my seven favorite, I wanna say seven, seven seems like a good number, favorite Nana Coco makeup product. And I found some good ones since then. So I thought why not share it with you guys in the form of like a full face kind of video. So yeah, together with professional nail hair beauty and Nana Coco makeup. So if you wanna find out what my favorites are and really what I would recommend to you, then keep on watching. My hair really is all over the place today. <laughs> So to get us started, of course, is brows. Always brows, in my book at least. This is the Brow Stylers Micro Pencil. This is in the shade Dark Brown. <laughs> They do have other shades, trust me, it's not just this one. But the reason why I really, really like this guy right here is because it is so tiny. It allows you to get those hair-like strokes. So if you're new here and you don't know how I do my brows, let me run you through it real quickly. So I just like to fill in my brows first. Define the line, fill in that arch. I have quite a bit of brow here, so I don't really have much that I need to fill. So you do what works for you. I would say go with what you have, but go with what you want. If you want to do like an arch brow today, live your best arch brow life. Okay. <laughs> okay, then once that is filled in, I like to go in with a bit of soap. Yeah, you heard me. So I do soap brows. And I will blend the product as well as shape my brows using the brow soap. I know a lot of people like to like go in with their brow soap first and then the product. But I just like the way this one looks. And that's basically my brow done. I'm just going to hit up with some cleanup, you know, with some concealer. And it's going to look beautiful. <laughs> okay, so for this next product, we're actually going to need a majority of our complexion done. So three, two, one. Okay, next up we have bronzer and this is actually a face powder guys. I think I've spoke about this before on my channel, but this is the HD powder foundation But we're bronzing with it today because it is in the shade Espresso. I have quite a few shades to choose from and I thought because it's a face powder It should naturally blend in really well with the rest of your complexion I just prefer to use a super fluffy brush because it helps to diffuse that product really nicely It does all the blending for you And yeah, I think it just looks super stunning and as I mentioned they have quite a few shades so you will find one that goes with your skin tone. Okay, now we can go straight into the eyes and this one is going to be super quick. Three things that I really, really want to talk about and that is eyeliner, eyeshadow, well, an eyeshadow palette and mascara. Eyeliner, brown eyeliner. A brown eyeliner goes a super long way in giving you some subtle definition and this one by Nana Coco, this is the long way eyeliner. The blend on this is so gorgeous like you can smudge it out so easily and it lasts really long which is a plus for me for someone who wears glasses i need my eyeliners to do the damn thing you know so i'm just gonna go in and apply some on uh, my lash line upper lash line about two thirds of the way in okay then i'm gonna go in with a little defining brush and i'm just gonna tap over top of it just by tapping it is going to allow it to blend out. Super easy, literally tapping, not doing too much work, and I think that looks good. <laughs> Let's do a tiny wing with a little bit of eyeliner. As you guys saw, I wasn't tugging at all, just some tapping to get the job done. Okay, now we're going to move on to the eyeshadow quad. This is the Elegant Quad. It basically is a quad with tons of shimmers that you can definitely work with. I love to use them on my eyes as well as a highlighter. This one right here, highlighter. Top, guys. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to be taking that gold, putting it in the inner corner. This is just going to help to open up the eye beautifully. Then I'm going to take a bit on my highlighting brush. And look at that. So super stunning. And then the final part for the eyes is the mascara, the multitasker. Come on. 
Come on, you know the story. Separating super black formula. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. Now I can go on to the setting spray. This is actually a glow kind of finish, which really, that glows. Okay, it glows. <laughs> I normally use the all-in-one, which gives you like a more of a velvet matte finish. This is definitely a glow, but... Now, this is not really a Nana Coco product, but it is a professional Elaine beauty product that I want to plug you guys on. Look at this fan. Look at this. It looks like a little Dyson, right? <laughs> it's actually an eyelash fan, which works so well in drying your face. So, please do allow me. <laughs> I'll have a link down below as well. I really like this like summer fresh look. Okay, let's move on to the lips and finish off this look. We're actually going in with a lip tint today, yes continuing the like summer fields. So this is the tantalizing lip tint. This is in the shade for fame. They have a ton of colors. Trust me, whatever floats your boat, you can find one. And yeah, I just really like how comfortable this is. It has a ton of pigment. So I just like to dab a bit on and then I'll just tap it out. Okay guys, and that is the look completed. Look my six favorite Nana Coco makeup products at the moment that I want to share with you. Would I recommend them? Yes, I definitely would because I think they're super versatile for someone who wants to do full glam all day, every day, as well as someone who wants to do a little bit of coverage, a little bit of definition, or a little bit of color here and there. Literally, it suits anyone. <laughs> if you want to check any of these products out, I'll leave them listed down below in the description bar as I always do. But yeah, that's it from me. I hope you guys have a good day, night, whatever time it is. I'll catch you on the flip side. <laughs>